Once you sign into our platform, uh, you are directed to a dashboard that uh, has a lot of statistics about your bots, what they're doing, um, who they're communicating with, the mediums that you're um, interacting with users on, whether it's a web chat, Facebook, SMS, Slack, uh, you name it. Um, one thing I wanted to do for sure is just create a bot and uh, show you how it literally just takes a couple of seconds. So if you go to My Bots and click on Create Bot, um, you can select any of these mediums and the process is just as easy no matter which one you select. We're working to add even more to this list such as Telegram and uh, even some voice services. Um, but for purposes of uh, this demonstration, I'll just select a web chat. So what you do is name your bot. Um, I will call this, uh, let's see, Facebook Bots Group Bot. So meta. Um, so we'll start with the template and click Create Bot. And uh, there you have it. You now have created a bot, and this is our sort of default template. Um, everything is modular, so for each response that your bot makes, uh, that is based upon a module. And which module you choose um, largely depends on what you're looking to accomplish. So if you're asking users for their email address, then you'd want to use this module, which has all of the, the uh, uh, logic pre-built into um, that particular module. Something like a multiple choice question and uh, just a simple statement um, are some of the more common things that you'll be using. But just to give you a sense of sort of how this um, translates into a bot, uh, I'll just go ahead and click on test bot. And you'll see that uh, right away, in the lower right corner here, you can test the flow chart and the uh, flow of conversation that you see here. Um, so I'm not sure how well this will actually show up in the video. Uh, but it's a multiple choice question. It says, are you a human or a robot? I'll say human. It says, I'm a bot, but I have many human friends. So tell me, what's your email address? I'll go ahead and put my email address in. When's your birthday? So you get the idea that it's traversing through the conversation flow. Um, and in the example of that very first question, you can see that there are different options. Human, bot, chat bot, robot, person, man, woman. These are all the different uh, possible responses that could be made to that first question as, that was posed um, as to whether you're a human or robot. Uh, where it gets really fun is creating the connections between these, which is also very easy. Um, so you can see that uh, if the extracted data contained bot, robot, or chat bot, then it goes to the bot. Um, Likewise, goes to the human if they had responded human. So, um, all very easy to use. Uh, you know, I think um, for us, one of our biggest goals was was making sure that uh, pretty much no matter what your level of um, you know technical ability is, you can create a chatbot. If you are an engineer, uh, as many of you are, then you know we have a lot of uh, additional goodies under the hood for you to consume uh, through our APIs. So. Whether you're able to, or whether you choose to just use our modules, or whether you want to sort of combine our service with uh, another NLP startup, um, that's totally up to you. But again, we really bring the pipelines um, and make it easy to uh, deploy um, and uh, really sort of handle that side of things. You can also go to conversations and in real time see the, the conversations that are being facilitated uh, with your bot. You can even reply as a human. and um, your uh, end users will, will get that reply. Um, reports is another cool fast, uh, aspect to, to our platform where just in one click you can see a lot of statistics that show you know who answered what, what percentage of people um, responded a certain way. Um, here's a more filled out example of that where you can see the percentage of responses for um, a yes no question or you know how many people said a certain number for uh, a number scale type of question.